Hello and welcome to a very quick Bearded Geek toy review video. Um, if you're a fan of the channel and also if you uh, read the community posts that I post occasionally, you'll notice that I um, occasionally am a co-host on the Trap One podcast. Now this is predominantly a Doctor Who podcast uh, that uh, I appear on, but also we've covered in the past, um, you know, topics such as the James Bond films and Star Wars and uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But uh, predominantly we cover Doctor Who, we cover all aspects of Doctor Who, from the actual broadcast episodes to uh, audiobooks to DVD releases to book releases and anything else, um, conventions, you name it, we cover it. In this particular episode that we recorded earlier this week, we were very fortunate, Mark and myself, who is the main co-host of uh, Chat One, to have on the podcast James, Josh and Kazim, who are the main founders of the Little Shop Props, which is a company that does um, faithful reproductions and uh, of props that appear in the show. So they've done sonic screwdrivers, they've done uh, other things that have appeared in the show, and they've diversified uh, into actual making props for the television show itself. And also various things like um, the iPlayer spin-offs, Tales from the TARDIS, and also the trailers for the upcoming Blu-ray releases. So in this clip, we're actually going to see Josh show us the prop that they made for the trailer of the collection box set, season 15, which is out in March. And you'll hear the rest of us talking in the background. And I just thought it would be a fascinating video to show you um if you're interested in that kind of thing in the description below i'll leave links to obviously the podcast and obviously you can listen to the full uh, podcast in detail uh, from there but here we go here's um the little shop props talking about their dalek gun we kind of went, okay, so you want a sort of Time War era Dalek gun. Um, what we'll do is we'll uh, design something to go on the back of it, which is a bit more detailed, so it's less like it's just a, a prop, more so it's like an actual um, piece of technology. Yeah, Dalek, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. with this, uh, there was a lot of inspiration taken. The front half of the gun's very much based on the Metaltron style Van Staten Dalek from Dalek, um, with a lot of the inspiration taken from there. Uh I was very adamant that I wanted the petals um, back in the end of the gun from the classic era because they hadn't been seen since uh, Revelation. Yeah, Louise, Louise Jameson did a number on this thing and one of the petals is broken and the uh, <laughs> the Mo Flash lens <laughs> oh, no. at the end, James, is actually coming out now. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, so so the, 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 the end has a, a little, dark, you know, the dome lights on the new series Daleks. We put a very small version of them in the end which lights up blue when, when, you, uh, when you exterminate someone. And then moving down the gun, the back half is very much based on the gun that Capaldi uses to threaten the Daleks within Magician's Apprentice um, but painted in the uh, bronze Dalek livery rather than a sort of silver and black that Capaldi had it in and then um, the back half is very much based on the Genesis gun stick that Tom Baker obviously you know uses to destroy the tapes with and everything so that's where the big red cable came from um, one fun detail on it my favorite detail <laughs> which I argued for is the Dr. Octopus arm there so the the little bit that connects the the cable to there is it's actually better, yeah. based yeah um so in 2004 obviously dr octopus was the main villain in spider-man yeah. 2 and when they were making dalek that had just come out and so there was a toy of dr octopus's arms that came out and when they made the interior of the dalek when it opens up uh there's like ribbing at the front and that's just little dr octopus arms um and so i was oh. very I, it's one of those details that always makes me laugh. So I, I really want to bring back the Dr. Octopus arms. It's good. 